Um, hello, I'm Brad Naha and today we're working with Texture Expert, a fantastic new range from L'Oreal Professional. On our model today, we're going to do just a basic, uh, big bouncy blow dry, which is a very big part of my uh, business in Sydney. And we're going to use part of the range, it's broken up into three sections, there's fine, medium and thick. We're going to use the fine. The first step is to, on quite wet hair, use the smooth essence. Just quite a small amount worked into the ends. Just going to condition and, and re-energise the ends if they're a little bit sensitised where this hair is because it's highlighted. Just make sure that you get it all in there. And then we want to have some volume and some shape. So we're going to use the expansion, which is a very lightweight mousse. And we'll just work that through, through our top section because that's where we want most volume. Really get that in there. Now at this point the hair is quite wet so we want to take some of the moisture out. So I would say about 20 to 30 percent of the moisture out so that we can, we're not just, save time but it will also just give me a better result because I can get some, I can make the hair quite pliable. So we'll do that. Now the, um, the blow drying part is quite important. So this, this blow dryer has different heat settings and a cold button, um, which is really crucial to the result of the finish. So we're going to use the hot and cold button to, uh, to really lock in the curl. Okay, so we've got some of the moisture out, about 20-30%. We'll start at the back. So you'll have to uh, get some section clips, best results, because you want to be able to just work on sections of the hair. We always start at the back. Okay, so we're going to start blow drying. So we want quite a bit of volume, so we're going to over direct the hair. So over directing means really getting into the root area and really lifting that up and away. So I guess if you're doing it at home, you'd get, you'd do it in this way. So really getting that lift in the roots. And then we're going to roll it up. So have your dryer on heat. Really get that heat into the hair. I'm using a medium sized brush as well. I'm using my, where the red button is, that's the cold. So I just allow that for a few seconds to cool down. Test it on your own skin. And then really lock that curl in by placing it really in there. Okay, so it's cold air. So the heat makes the hair quiet, makes the hair change shape. Because we're using a round brush, it's going to be smooth and round, curled, a bit of heat. Take your next section. I'm pretty much repeat the same process, so you want to get that rootless in there. combination of the smooth essence and the mousse is that the actual properties of the product start to repair and condition the hair so without weighing it down especially on uh, fine hair it's really important because most most clients with fine hair are very very wary of product because it makes you know it, it can collapse but as you can see this door has the structure to it and the but the softness and it'll last so it's really, it's a great, great success with fine hair. Just add a little bit more mousse in here. Again, I like to apply product where we're going to have emphasis. So the front of the hair always tends to be, of course it's at the front, so you, know, you want to make sure that that's looking really good. Same action, so we want to have root lift. You want to make sure you get your brush in there and you're really lifting that hair up away of the scalp. So I'm 
kind of working around the head. So if you really need to make sure you've got um, some section clips. So we're starting to get all that volume in here without it looking too heavy. Yeah. It's such a beautiful product. It's such a it great finish. It makes the hair look so different. blow dry so as you can see it's got lots of volume in there without looking it doesn't look too heavy I'm just going to finish with the fixing mist which again just adds another layer of condition to the hair that's one of those sprays that you can just continually use without it building up And with this, um, like tomorrow, the, this blow dry will still be in there. But if you want to just reinvigorate it, because the products are so conditioning, you can just go in again and add um, a little bit of mousse back to maybe your fringe area where it may have lost its shape. Yeah. Uh, and just rework it. Okay. With heat? Yeah. Like just blow dry that section again. Um, or you could uh, use a little bit of the fixing mist, which is the spray. What happens is it kind of, because it's totally cosmetic, the hair actually just retains that, that yes. kind of finish. Okay. Yeah. So you shouldn't need to do too much. No, and it just, it doesn't, day. you can keep adding and adding and adding, and it'll just add more and more condition, yeah. opposed to just putting product in the hair. Cool. Yeah. So you could do this in the morning, just kind of tip your head by that one, just to re-energize it again. Put some fixing this through. I quite like hair the second day. Yeah, me too. It's amazing. Yeah, it just gets shinier and better. Especially with fine hair, because that's kind of really key with the, with the products. Is that you know. The, if you put so much, if you put too much product in fine hair, you have to usually rewash it. Yeah. But just won't take it. Yeah, even better. Cool. Oh, thank you so much. <laughs>